Hello, welcome back to Sacred Vapes. The channel aims to bring the views and experiences of products in the market today, brought to you by Average Vapor. Now this week, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to bring you a standard review, mainly because I don't think it does the product justice. But it's something that you will have heard of, you certainly would have seen it advertised if you haven't tried it already. It's this. The Horizon Tech Falcon King Tank. Now, when I say I'm not going to do it conventionally, it's because everybody knows about the Falcon Tank for months on end. You know, it was word of mouth that it was the tank to buy. I mean, partly, I, my experience with the Falcon Tank was that when I first bought it back in the April, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I thought it was a terrible tank. But when I tried it with the mesh coils, it absolutely blew me away. I mean, I even put it in my top three. Um, sub ohm tanks back in December so this reminded me just how good the Falcon could potentially be it's the DLC version rather than the sequel but before we get into all that let's give her a vape now first and foremost what do you get well if you if you know Horizon Tech products they come in a tube like this now, I, you normally get a logo at the bottom. I've no idea where mine's gone. But, yeah, you get Horizon Tech information around there. Um, I've had this for about two months now. So, it certainly had quite a bit of usage. So, we'll get her open. Now, there, that's where you have your tank screwed in. You can simply just pull it off. It's a little bit of adhesive there. Get her open. Now, what you get is you get a spare glass. I think that's a 4mm glass, could be 5 but you get spare o-rings and spare silicon top thing, whatever you call it, um, and you get a spare coil. Now, as you can see, I've used this quite a bit. Well, I'll get into that. <laughs> but yeah, you get two coils. You get the M1 Plus, plus. yep, yeah, M1 Plus, that's rated 0.16, recommended a 75 watt. This is the M Dual, I think it's the official name, I've just found it. Yeah, M Dual, 0.38, recommended at 80 watts. That's what the coils look like. So we get talking about the tank now. Now, the tank. Is a 6 mil capacity tank with the bubble glass supplied. It's bottom adjustable airflow. As you can see. It comes with a replaceable 810 drip tip. Comes with a top automatic opening. Buttons there. Fill, nice big fill hole on the top. And yeah, mention the coils as well. So that's pretty much the tank. So... Rather than go into a general pro and con section now, what I want to do is basically which version should you buy? And the reason why I say this is that the coils are actually interchangeable in whether you have the original Falcon or you have the Falcon King. The coils can be used in each tank. I mean, there might be a little bit of a issue with capacity. I know the Falcon Mini Tank it was a nightmare to fill up. You know, that was the 2 mil compliant version. So, yeah, I want to go into necessarily which version is better, considering that a pack of coils compared to the price of a tank is a bit different. So, first positive for me for this tank is going to be the capacity. 6 mil out of the box. Fantastic. Much bigger than the original Falcon was. I think the original... May have been 4 mil, might have even been 3.6, I can't remember now. you going back that long ago, but mainly you had to buy a bubble glass for the original. Here you get the 6 mil out the box, absolutely fantastic. Next pro for me is going to be that top fill. That top fill design, I think the old one was a screw off top. This one is nice and simple, as I say. You push in, but compared to something like the Alpha, you actually have to put a bit of force in. The Alpha, that's about the amount of pressure you have to put on. You have to put an extra push. That way, there's no accidental openings. I've not had any issues like that. Um, Next Pro, no leaking whatsoever. And the, there's a, tanks always have an issue of leaking 
for the occasional person. This, no leaking whatsoever with either coil, so that's been fantastic. There's plenty of airflow, the airflow is absolutely massive as you can see. Certainly when you're using the M Jewel, you'll take advantage of that airflow a little bit more because of the higher wattage. Next pro for me is going to be the overall look of it. I think it, it looks a bit more premium, this design. And yeah, absolutely love the design of it compared to the original. The original was nice, but it was very simplistic. This looks a bit over the top <laughs> rather than you know a very basic tank. Um, onto the coils now. The coils perform not, they haven't been bad. The flavour's really nice. I wouldn't say the flavour pops, but the flavour's really nice. Um, in terms of coil life, this one lasted me a week and a half. Um, this one, it's probably had about two weeks usage, the M1 Plus, and it's still going. So it's a little bit indicating of where Horizon Tech put their coils, because the M1 original is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, we'll get into the cons now. First cons are airflow. It's a little bit loud. I don't know if you can hear it properly. But wide open. It's very, very loud. We'll cut it down to about halfway. Just quieten down quite a bit. Um, next con for me. I'm going to talk about the coils again. <laughs> Mainly because I don't think the coils are as good. I'm using the, I said using the, uh, the M Jewel. I just dropped this, sorry. <laughs> using this one, the M Jewel. If you notice, if you can see the cotton there, the cotton isn't actually that dark. It kind of just give up. I say it was about a week and a half, and then the flavour just dropped dramatically. Um, it could have still carried on vaping on it. There's still bits of flavour there, but I wouldn't say the flavour in the first place was absolutely mind blowing. I'd say, again, the M1 Plus, much better flavour. Um, the other thing I didn't like about the coils is that the recommendation on them, this recommended at 80 watts. Don't vape it at 80 watts. You'll keep getting juice coming through the tank. I was vaping actually about 90 watts. That's where I felt comfortable pushing it over the recommended. The M1 Plus, you don't have as much an issue at the recommended. It's 75, and to be honest, I've been vaping in a 75, not had any issues with juice, maybe occasionally, but not as bad as the other one was at 80 watts. Um, so yeah, the flavour, you're going to be looking at the M1 Plus rather than the M Jewel, but I know from past experience that the triple mesh for the original Falcon did struggle as well compared to the single mesh one. So... Again, this does seem to be continuity with Horizon Tech's coils. So, other con. Um, I can't really think of any other cons for this tank. So, we'll get into the overall now. And the overall, which one is better? Which one? Because I could have started this video off with the simple, do I recommend a Horizon Tech Falcon? Yes, absolutely. I'll still stand by that. Still think the M1 coils, some of the best coils on the market for a single mesh. It's low powered, but you get lots and lots of flavour. I'd say, I'd recommend this. I would recommend getting this version, simply because the design is much improved. I'd say the airflow maybe isn't as good. I do, I do think it's a bit too airy. But obviously that can be adjusted. The top fills much better. The capacity as standard is much better. It, it does feel a bit more quality compared to the original. So honestly, what my recommendation for this is going to be, if you're going to buy it, then stick to the M1 coils on the M1 Plus coils. I'd still stick with the M1 originally, you know, personally for me, that's what I'm going to buy to use in this tank and just cut the airflow down to make the most of them. But I still would highly recommend getting this version, but not necessarily for the brand new coils. Similarly, if you have the original Falcon, 
I wouldn't rush out to buy the new coils unless you want to try the M1 Plus because it's got the bamboo wicking inside compared to the wood pulp of the old versions. But I wouldn't say it makes a dramatic difference overall. You're not going to get a mind blown experience with it. So, yeah, hopefully, you liked the review of the Ryzen Tech Falcon King. As always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Coming up next week, I'm going to be bringing the Smow and Taggers kit and giveaway. So make sure you check that one out. I'm going to do that. Maybe let it run a couple of weeks, but certainly check the video out of how to enter. Um, as I always say, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay safe. And keep vaping.